Hi, my name is Neil McGill and today I'd just like to show you an exercise to, to help you initiate the downswing, get the feeling of the weight shifting on the downswing and, and helping you learn the correct timing of how the weight uh, against the body rotation should work on the downswing. So what we're going to do first of all is I want you to peg the ball on a low tee. I'd like you to make just your normal setup position using a, maybe a mid iron. I've got a number six iron here. Once we've made setup position, what I want you to do is move your left foot over until it touches your right foot and bring the club with you. So the club is now set between your feet. Now, initiating the downswing, where the majority of players go wrong, is by starting the downswing by pulling the arms and pulling the arms down, causing a sort of scooping action at the bottom of the swing. What I want you to do with this exercise is once you reach the top of the backswing, I want you to initiate the downswing by stepping over and getting your left foot back into the position where it initially started. So once again we have our left foot over beside our right. We swing back, we step over, get your weight back onto the left foot and it's at this point, if I make a practice swing to the side, once the foot is planted again that you then swing your arms down and through. So we've got a sequence which is weight shift, body rotation and then swish with the arms as opposed to a swish with the arms from the top of the, the backswing. So if I show you in practice, so we set up normally, bring the left foot over until it touches the right. From here, I turn back, step over, and turn through. So at the finish of the swing, my weight has now fully transferred over onto my left side. I can, there's really no weight at all back on my right foot. All of the pressure has moved onto my left side and all of the weight has moved over. If you do this wrongly, what you find as you initiate the downswing is that you begin to move your left foot, but at which point your hands pull down and you actually cannot get your left foot back on the ground and you'll find yourself losing balance back onto your right foot. So once again, normal stance, bring your left foot over to your right, bring the club with you so the club is now set between your feet. From here, rotate back, step over and turn through and we get a nice straight ball flight down the centre of the driving range. I hope this helps. Give it a try on the driving range, and uh, we'll see you next time.